in this video, I'm going to show you my favorite defense for defending the tight slots formation, at least one of the ones that I really like right now um, in Madden 22. I feel like it's one of the better defenses for tight and really just one of the better defenses in general. And it comes to us out of the 3-3-5 wide. We're going to be talking today about the cover one robber coverage and how it works specifically against tight. Now, you can apply this um, to formations that are not 335 wide. You can apply this to nickel normal. I've got a defensive ebook out of nickel normal. You can apply this to a lot of different, um, a lot of different stuff. So if you want to check out some of my, all of my ebooks, you can get the Patreon, and the Patreon will teach you how to run all of the different schemes and all the different. Um, you know, I've got nickel norm on there, 335, 335 wide, big nickel. I've got so many. I've got over 20 uh, offensive and defensive guides in the Patreon membership. So if you want to check that out. Again, I'm gonna put a link to that in the description. Make sure I have post wheel drag, mesh spot, four verticals. And I'm trying to remember if there's another one that I'm missing, but we'll just probably use uh, flood. There we go, okay. So, and then we'll just come out in, in whatever. Um, but I wanna show you how this works. So, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come out in three through five wide. And we're going to, or um, we're gonna come out in three through five normal, but we're gonna audible down. And I'm gonna show you the difference between these two coverages and explain why um, I like one versus the other against compression. So you wanna have cover one robber and Mike Blitz zero. I feel like that's really important because I wanna teach you something a little bit about compression. Part of the problem with compression, okay? Please, please, please hear me here. Part of the main problem with compression is rub routes. That's why people like this offense. It also confuses coverages. So um, let me give you an example. So if I'm in cover one robber, notice where my nickel corner is. You're gonna notice that my nickel corner is guarding the tight end and now this guy is going to be a matched up on that slot receiver it's not exactly a complete loss um, because if you think about the main key players in these two formations the main routes that you need to guard are the post routes from post wheel drag and the post route from mesh spot those are the those are the whole reason why people call this the other one is the four verticals. And the four verticals concept is really built around double flats and then these double wheels. And I'll show you here real quick. You see that the wheel beats me, okay? So when you think about it, what we wanna take is we wanna take kind of an inside out approach with our coverage. And the way that we're gonna do that is through Mike Blitz Zero. Now we get a clean press on this guy we get a clean press on this guy. We get a clean press on this guy. And this guy is guarding the tight end. Notice that they're all inside of the route. Really important. What I like to do against compression is I love to simply call press man. Now, um, let me show you something real quick, really important. Post wheel drag, we're going to block the tight end. And we're going to use this flat as kind of a rub route, if you will. And you'll notice here that it kind of works, but at the same time, it kind of doesn't. It's not like he gets super separation by any means. Um, you know, it's fairly fine. And I'll show uh, maybe a little bit different of a version. We're gonna use a, a zig. And, you know, again, just trying to create a rub route for this player. And I want you to see that by and large, we're not gonna rub him. You know, he's gonna be able to play that, as you can see. Okay, so that's kind of point one. Now, point two is even more important, and that is how in the world do we stop a wheel? The best way to stop wheels in Madden is to man them up. My opinion, year in and year out, best way to stop wheels is to man them up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna shade our coverage inside um, out of this, and then we're gonna shade our coverage um, underneath. Okay, really important. So we're getting a real hard press on that play. Um, and we're shading underneath. And what you'll see here is if I try to low ball it, it's not really there. So that is a big, big, big deal. So again, we're playing kind of a box in one zone with the defense. We're going to shade our coverage inside and underneath to purples. And from there, I'm gonna come back to this in just a second, but you see the basic gist of the of the coverage. And then from there, you're gonna notice that these wheels, 
specifically the wheel to the this other player. See how that's not, that's a real hard throw, just by shading inside. And the shade inside and underneath is very helpful. Now, one thing I do want you to prepare for is if they've got a fast player like a Scotty Miller and they run this four verticals play, I want you to see this real quick. Notice how Scotty Miller can burn me over the top. This is where my user is really, 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 really important. I don't want to mess with the tight end routes, okay? I, I cannot waste my, my user as my resource, right? I can't waste that with the tight end. I have to cover the left side. Very important, okay? So what I mean by that is if I see four verticals, so I'm getting double wheels, I should not be worried about this guy. I got to be worried about this guy over here. So you'll see here if the tight the tight end like he'll beat me, but I'll catch up, and that's a speed thing, right? It's a speed thing, okay? And and, and a little bit like just positional, but I'm not going to the right. I'm going to the left, okay? Very important. Now you can do this out of cover one robber. Um, the the biggest thing with this, so you can cover this fine out of cover one robber. Notice that the slot corner, or uh, not the slot corner, but the linebacker, see how we're getting a misalignment here? One thing you can do is base align your coverage, um, and now you're going to be misaligned on the other side. You could do that. Um, you could flip your play, uh, but, but really in general, like if you man align, I don't know why tight slots really does this, because the nickel corner should not be over here, but it just is what it is, okay? And, and that's why I'm saying, like, now, if you look at the coverage, this isn't terrible. Um, we're just not going to get a clean release. And I'll show you why that matters. Um, or a clean press animation. So I'll show you why that can be good or bad. But anyways, let me just show you this post. And then you'll see here, see how I get bumped off the post? And now look how open he is. See that? So that's a big deal. Okay. So cover one robber. Notice that we're over here and we're kind of getting these random deals. Now, a way that you can deal with this, like I said, is if you base align your defense and then press a lot of times, notice that the press, they're going to come in and they're going to be in a position. Now, this slot corner is misaligned on the outside hip of that slot of that slot on the, on the right. So you won't get the same, like, glitchy deal where he teleports away and now you can run with the post so that's one option just straight up call cover and robber baseline you can do that that's fine i have found more success however with the mike blitz zero approach and the reason is because now i can again shade underneath um shade underneath of the defense so we're going to go two purples a bluff blitz and literally just I mean just shade underneath so I would I would have already shaded underneath here but what you'll see is these post routes we get really clean and I mean I mean really clean press animations on these post routes which is very helpful in terms of defending this kind of concept you see clean press runs with him they bump they almost bump themselves into problems is kind of what happens with the coverage. So that's why I really like Mike Blitz Zero. Now, one other key, 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 key thing with this. Again, we want to make sure we're getting clean press animations. It's really important. So with this defender right here, I like to take this guy black. And you could do a couple different things with him. But essentially man him up on the running back put this defender in the purple now what you get is a little cleaner of coverage and the press animations are a lot cleaner and so you'll see here just by this one little thing you know I'm, i could be in a really good spot so you see here we'll get nice and clean rubs nice and clean swap offs and we don't get killed by the alignment of the formation. That's a big thing I'm trying to get across. With, with tight, it's such a random formation, just the way that it works. It's why I really don't like defending it because we get we get these just like kind of silly, um, you know, misalignments. I would shift to the tight inside. I think that's very helpful. 
um, with this because, you know, again, we got to be really careful with number 10. And so if we do it like this, now we're a little bit better off. Now, another thing that you want to do, and this is where I say, like, I like manning these guys up on the running back and the tight end and then taking my safeties and putting them in purples. Um, you know, and then from there, if you want to, I would put the three rec over here. And the reason why is because we have the running back in, in man coverage, right? So let's say they go to a play um, like mesh spot and they run it like, like this, for example. So you get kind of a concept that looks like this. This is how they'd probably try to beat man. Well, you'll notice that he'll press and then he'll be inside. See that? See, so you notice how he kind of like does a little bit of a glitchy swap off and I'll show you in replay. These are just some of the basic little tenets, I think. But if you look at this, you see how you get that nice little jam. You don't, you, you're gonna get this jam um, and, and then they swap off really well. So you see there, yeah, the slant's open, but we're gonna be there, our user's gonna be there. Same thing on the backside here. Again, clean press, I don't get bumped. That is so important when defending this formation. I literally can't tell you how important it is. I hate, hate defending compression because I get all my defenders just get randomly bumped and it drives me insane. But notice I'm inside here. This is not a bad, I mean, yeah, it's a good throw, but you know, I'm in a decent position. Now, last little piece of advice for defending, um, defending tight is this. You can drop, you can take this guy right here and bluff blitz him and he'll be in a three rec. And then you can again, purple your safeties. Cause again, we want the box in one coverage. I don't necessarily, okay, key word, I don't necessarily mind not having someone in man coverage on the running back, okay? It's just really important that you understand you do need someone in man coverage on the, either the running back or the tight end, okay? You don't have to cover both, but you do need someone in man coverage on one of them. And then we could drop, you know, the backside guy like this into coverage in a three rec. Um, you could also now drop this guy because we don't have to drop him into a three rec. We could drop him into a vertical hook. The only reason I'm suggesting this is because again, against the wheel, the bluff blitz can sometimes be very good. You'll see how he kind of covers the running back a little bit better and just makes that throw difficult. I mean, yeah, you can still make it. Welcome to Madden 22, but you're in, you're in the area and you're, you're in a little bit better of a position. Now, if you want to vert hook this guy, that's fine. And then you can, you can do the same thing over here. Okay. So now we're just using a vertical hook. I, you know, we're not going to have anybody in coverage on the running back. We might have that three rep come over and help us, but that's just something you, you got to think about a little bit as you're building your coverage. But anyways, these are some simple things that you can do to really help. Um, when we talk about defending tight, a lot of it revolves around what people don't understand is you want to keep your defenders from running into each other. When you talk about defending tight, I'm telling you, that's a huge piece of defending gun tight. So Mike Blitz zero purple, the safeties, and then you want to adjust with these guys. However you want to. Okay. My personal recommendation would be to always have someone in man coverage on the tight end, like Savage right here. This guy is kind of a wild card. I would not put him in a curl flat because he's going to run into your guys, right? What you might do, though, is bluff blitz him. So he'll basically defend the running back if the running back goes on a route and then vert hook or spy, you know, one of your one of your D linemen. And you'll see now all you have to do is get on top and top routes. As you can see, I'm a topper. I'm, with, you know, I'm topping the routes. So I'm just kind of helping over the middle. This is going to help again, all that 10 yard and under stuff. We're not, we're not going to get killed by that because we have a ton of zones underneath. What we're going to get killed by is the deep post over the top or the deep crosser or the deep corner. And so those are the things that you want to, as a user, be able to have the freedom to get back and cover. Thanks for watching the video. I really hope this was helpful in terms of kind of teaching you how to think about your coverage and how to think about your defense when it when it comes to gun type again thanks for watching the video if you want to learn my complete 335 wide defense 
I'm going to put a link in the description below to my Patreon. It's got all of my eBooks in there. It's also got a ton of exclusive tips and updates that I don't share on YouTube that are super in depth and high level tips. If you really want to take your game to the next level, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to check out the membership, there's a link down in the description.